Hey everybody, Grim is here again, and I'm going to teach you how to keep things organized within your actual OBS studio. So as you might have seen in my last tutorial, I have an activity feed, I have my chat here, and I have the quicks. Like for example, I can add things in here, I can change things, I can add quick actions, I can quickly rate a channel, stuff like that. The way we're going to do this is we're actually going to use the docking feature that is over here. Currently, I only have two. There are more people that have way more docks. I originally didn't even know that this was a feature, but it's a quick way to do it like this. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to go over to a couple of things. So first off, when you connect your actual Twitch account to OBS Studio, you're already going to have the chat here. If you don't have it in there or you somehow lose it, there is a way to add it in here. The way you can do that is you can go to your channel and then add chat at the very end. So for example, you could go to twitch.tv for me that we horizontally on ch slash chat and you would go here. You can also go to your Twitch. Uh, let's just say that I go to my channel. I can go to chat. I will uh, pop it out like this. I would uh, pop it out like that. I could grab this link and then that would be all I need. I can also just use this. I would go over here. I would add chat, I would click apply, and then chat would be opened, as you can see. And then I can just drag that, uh, say I could close this actually, then I could drag that anywhere into the docs and that would be added. Right now I already have a chat, so I don't need to do that and I prefer not to do that. Because my UI is locked, I can't do that, but I could add it and drag it anywhere. I could even drag it to the top, look, I have the worst chat in the world right now. We can also add quick actions. Twitch creator dashboard we will go to our stream manager and here you can see that there's a couple of things here that you can actually do over here we're going to go to quick actions pop out we're going to grab that link with a control you know just go over here double click it c and then we're going to go over here we're going to add the link over here you're going to add to quicks or whatever you want to call it and then it's going to apply so quick actions I'm going to click apply but this is also the way you can add things you can drag them over here and you can add them like that I like the way that i have this set up right now but that's the way to do that and you can sort of add whatever you want um for example the activity feed i like the one that twitch has but i just happen to like the one that stream elements has just a little bit more the way to get it from stream elements is you log in as you would normally go to your dashboard go down to activity feed you pop it out grab the link and do the exact same thing. You go here, you add it in there. You can do this one by one. You can add these as you go. I don't need these things. And there we go. And you can add them in like this. I hope this has been a little bit helpful. This is the way that I keep my OBS studio organized. I have this open on my other screen basically all the time. It basically has everything that I need to see. In any case, that has been sort of this entire tutorial. Once you're done, you can click lock UI. You can still resize it a little bit, move things around, but you can no longer move these tabs around. And do be careful that if you minimize the window, and if you go like this, and you make it bigger again, you do have to resize it. I've had to resize it quite a lot like this. It's actually super annoying, <laughs> because this one is the anchor point. <laughs> anyway, that's been my tip for this. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.